These budding stars came to drama school with high hopes. I want to be the next Elf Chan. Hollywood, it's BMW. I want someone to say, you know, oh, have you seen the new Ryan Richards movie? The first term has thrown them some big challenges. And they've all been adjusting to a new life and new relationships. I didn't know anyone. The pressure's increasing and things are about to get a lot more intense. It still has to be about inviting every single individual to maximise their talent. The trainee actors have been throwing themselves into their work, mentally and physically. But as the weeks go on, it's starting to take its toll. The adrenaline and the good, happy endorphins that have been um, honeymooning them through this first four weeks or first three weeks has, is, is just starting to ebb away. I'm tired. I'm really tired all the time. Tiredness, grumpiness. I'm actually struggling as it is. I thought I could handle stress really well. It's really harsh, you know, and um, quite a few of us are getting sick. Oh my God, I just feel like shit. It's horrible. And so you'll see the first bits of um, little elements of irritation with each other creeping in. People have said to me, um, said, hey, look, Ryan, blah, 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 in the first two weeks, um, you really pissed me off. Eh? You were just too much. I wanted to kill you. I sense sometimes some cattiness in the room, but it's their problem. <laughs> because what we're doing is so concentrated, it's almost as if sort of relationships are quite sped up. And Tomia, she's got strong opinions. My initial reaction was, oh, right, okay, sure. She thinks she's better than me. Very smart lady and, and has good ideas and right answers a lot of the time, but um, that doesn't make everybody else stupid. You're going to open the door? And as things get heated outside the classes, they're hotting up inside the classroom too. Movement shooter Tom McCrory runs a regular session to analyse how each student walks and talks. I will play with you. Don't take it personally. I might do anything. I don't know. I'll do what I think is necessary in order to begin to wake up something in you. To it's revealing a lot about their hidden feelings. My name is Ivania. Fresh out of school, 18-year-old Ivania is about to get a sudden reality check. Don't you go into glazed-eyed fairy princess who loves everybody. I love everybody. I can be this ditzy little fairy girl. You spontaneously think to yourself, oh, I can't be that weird, or <laughs> I can't be that much of an eerie fairy girl. She's very intelligent. She can, she can hear what's being said to her, and she knows what it's talking about. In some ways, I thought, oh, you're not right. But on another level, I understand what he means. Go on, make a sound. That feel good? <laughs> You're much more rich and complex, and there's a joy in your rage. There's a creativity in it, isn't there? Mm -hmm. There is. Yeah, there is. I don't find it painful because I know I'm not perfect. So if someone's going to point out some way where I can learn, then awesome. From an IT background, Stephen's been finding it hard to open up. Hello. My name is Stephen Townsend. Tom wants him to shake off his computer programmer skin once and for all. How can you make us feel the most relaxed? <laughs> It's the hardest thing, just to be oneself. Yeah, OK, come back, because there are many, many ways to hide, and some of them are really complex. <laughs> Usually I am quite buttoned down, yeah. Um, but I think, I'll, I think I'll change. I think this is the time for me to, to, to let go of that, and I'm, I feel ready for that. When you come in and pause, think, my name is Snorty Snorty Carrot Knackers. <laughs> Hello? My name is Snorty Snorty Crack Smackers. <laughs> <laughs> Even better, I couldn't have come up with crack smackers. <laughs> I try to be, allow myself to be in a quite playful, open space when I go into the class because, you know, you're going into an unknown territory and that's part of the trust of teaching. And now say your name, your real name, but secretly, your secret agent, 
cracks me. Hi. My name is Stephen. <laughs> it felt like I was making fun of my name, though. That's what it felt like, you know? Yeah, well, fun's good, isn't it? Yeah. Does it all have to be tortured and painful and shameful and I am either the shamer or the ashamed? It was a different experience than anything else I've ever had. I really took that on and I thought about that every day since he's told me that. Antonia gave up a high-flying career to come here. She's used to being in control. Hi, my name is Antonia Maria Bale. For me, I was the lawyer and that's a box and a label and now it's um, like saying, okay, well, you know, let's open the box. What else is in there? You have a highly refined sense of right, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Are you quite good at insisting on it with other things? You can yes. wag your finger. But when it comes to you and your benefit, you, you're not very good at listening to it. But... Some people, it's the very first time, more often than not, very first time that they've publicly gone to that place with somebody that they, they don't know. Under scrutiny from Tom and her classmates, Antonia breaks down. Doesn't. No. Shh, shh, shh. What? I don't like them being so close. It's okay. I'm trying to encourage you through it. You don't like them being close, yeah? Why? Why? Sometimes it's really scary because sometimes Tom talks about just little things which unlock for me a way of seeing myself that is different and it can almost like hit you over the head with a piece of wood it's frightening yeah we're getting closer and so the more is coming up yeah and this other thing comes in again can you feel it is that now is that here no just so learning to put the defences down a bit to just you know relax right. into not you know what's right not have to be right or correct no, or, right, or whatever. She's not going to judge me. What do you want with her? What's right for you with human beings in their contact? I used to think that I came from most things from my head. I'm learning I came from most things from my heart. And, um, now I think it's a case of coming from my body as well and moving into some of the things that Tom talks about. As actors, they'll all have to get used to this level of scrutiny. Nobody comes to this school without the desire to go deeper and to go further. But as the others wait their turn in the spotlight, many are afraid of how they'll cope. Because you've seen that this, this guy, he knows what he's talking about, you think, well, you know, is, is he going to find something out about me that I don't want him to? What texture is the hair like? As the term goes on, the acting students are learning many new disciplines. Explore your senses. But some are still finding the discipline of getting to school a challenge. It's joking. Hey, yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is a fascinating fact. Us clock is 15 minutes fast, so that we might follow the time to get there. But we we totally ignore it because we know, oh yeah, it's 15 minutes fast. <laughs> sure. I just don't want to be late. This we won't be late. We've never been late. Natalia, we're being late. <laughs> They're bracing themselves for their walk analysis class with movement tutor Tom McCrory. Part of me wants to say no. Mm. You don't know me, you can't. And so I'm kind of like, oh, you're just, you're just taking this as you're going along and then just finding moments. And then, then I see what it comes up and I'm like, oh, okay, now that's freaky. Is there anyone that understands you or can read you, which is mm. really freaky stuff? Yeah. Time, time, time. That's nine o'clock. In class, Tom pushes Natano to wake up to his natural charisma. No, you're acting like you're late for class. <laughs> this is not about sneaking around. This is about celebrating who you are. What's good about you? I know it's hard to say it out loud because, you, you know, one's brought up to be not boastful about it, but you're not being boastful. Um, yummy. Yummy? <laughs> hey, you're yummy? You're yummy. What else are you? What's good about you? 
Spara. Ni. Asa. Yes, Go out there and encourage him. I want him to come to a point where he values his gifts and he realizes that, you know, in them is an abundance which he can give from. When a woman's dancing in Samoan culture and you want to encourage her, what do you do? Tom also wants Natasha to make the most of what she's got. Whose body is it? It's my body. Yeah. And what is this that you're standing on at the moment? What are we doing? It's my estate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a garden. It's a garden. Imagine you can breathe through your fingertips. And every time you breathe out, you fill the room with a fragrance. Let us enjoy it. He said, visualize my garden, which was really, you know, hit the nail on head for me because I love gardens. And that's what I want to bring with me every time I enter onto the stage. I want to bring my garden, my beautiful, you know, paradise with me. <laughs> no, Ryan, come here. Ryan doesn't need any encouragement to put himself forward. In their next big challenge, he's volunteered for a key role. But this time, he may have put his hand up too quickly. When he was dragged in, the first thing they stripped him down to his knickers. You go, oh God, because he's always the first person to volunteer. So the fact that it was Ryan going, oh, I'll do it, you know, we went, okay, of course he'll do it. <laughs> the audience don't realise this piece is actually intended to test them. And of course it was how much will we tolerate before we say no. The students are unsure how to react. But at last, they decide it's gone too far. And finally, Ryan reveals he was in on it from the start. Yeah, fooled everyone. It was awesome. Ryan, you did a good job. You know. But not everyone's feeling so happy. Bryony came here hoping to be a comic actor, but she's starting to beat herself up about her abilities. Yeah, I do have doubts. I do have doubts. Uh, I think it's really easy to get lost in 22 people. And I think that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm getting lost. Sometimes it's fear of making a prick of myself. And I think I've got to get over that too. It's almost the end of term at drama school. And the pace is picking up. I was watching the bin men this morning, jumping off the back of the wagon. Beautiful flow those bin men have got. What's the name? Tom McCrory's pushing the students to look at themselves more closely. Mari has always prided herself on going it alone, but Tom's determined to get to the heart of who she really is. And I think I was born to be an actress. You were born and no, you weren't. I'm still a bit scared of him. But I reckon he's a real gifted, um, special man, and like, I look up to him. I was born to be with him. No, you weren't. <coughs> I believe I was. I believe I was. So why do you feel so alone and so isolated and so like you don't really, shouldn't be there? Where do you belong? Here. I knew he was banging it on the button, man, about being alone. You belong there. Hey? I actually really enjoy the way he works. You belong there. Like the therapy sides that he does. 
What do you need to do? I feel like I need to hug you. Go on then. Since then, I, I've um, felt like I haven't been alone. It's been a lot better. Sometimes it stretches, you know, it stretches me uh, and is exhausting because um, some people make it very, very difficult. That is too far in a cloud of meaning the suffering. There's enough. Colleen's about to find out that the way she comes across isn't what she imagines. No. No, why are you making me work so hard for no reason? Tom was like, well, why are you making this hard on me? Like, I think he was right, it should have been easy. It should have just been, you know, walking into the room and walking out again. There's too much suffering in the world already. Why add to it unnecessarily? Have a run around the room, we'll clap you. Come on. I mean, some people don't choose to make it hard. I appreciate that, but it, that's when it gets tiring, is when you know you're playing a kind of, you know, emotional kung fu with somebody. <laughs> Jump up and down and wiggle your ass! Wave! Come on! Woo! 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 Oh, Jesus Christ, we went back to biblical torment again, didn't we? Yes, but that joy can only last but a brief time. <laughs> wiggle your ass again! Come on! There's lots of joy in that ass. Yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy it. I don't want any more of this bloody angst out of you. Unless it's angst for a reason. I didn't even realise I was seeing the world like that. And it's just made a huge difference, actually. As the students confront some home truths, many are realising just how valuable their training is. As a person not being at drama school, you just think, what are they doing? What, what is it about? And it's actually really amazing. Already we've done some things that I've just been totally blown away by. And the simplest things, like the exercise we did with the give and take of the focus. You know, no one knows what they're doing. You don't plan it. And it's beautiful. It's stunning. And I want to say, like, look at this person who never speaks in class and they're doing the most beautiful thing with their foot. See, this is more interesting. She doesn't know what to do now. Stay with that, Ivania. <laughs> I have this awful person inside me. Who goes? But for Bryony, the close scrutiny's been provoking huge self-doubt. You know how big you are, you? I'm this big. You're useless. Do you understand that? Do you understand what I'm saying? Answer me. Do you see what I mean? If I talk to you like that, would you learn anything? Yes. What would you learn? <laughs> Not to be like that. Oh, be the person who talks to yourself. Go. Talk to me like that. You look like a twat. You look like an absolute dick. What are you doing? You talk to yourself, and a, and, and a lot of you do it. You talk to yourself in a way that you would talk to no other human being. If I get something dumbassly wrong, then I'm going to beat myself up about it. I'm going to scrutinise myself about it, and that makes me think that I'm shitter than everybody else. Well, come together. I'll be your inner critic. Don't go in there. Everybody's gonna think you're crap. Come on, you slam the door. You slam the door. Look, everybody's looking at you. Everybody thinks you're crap, Brian. Look at you. Yeah, you didn't even do anything with it this morning. Your earrings, your clothes. You're showing me up, Brian. Brian. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, am I? How are you gonna get rid of me? You're embarrassing me. Give me encouragement. Look good, bye. More, Who cares what I look like? Who cares what I smell like? Who cares what I dress like? At the end of the day, you've got to you've got to get over these insecurities of caring about what other people think. They come face to face with the realities, some of the realities of the work they will need to do 
in order to begin this journey. Not to complete this journey, but to begin this journey. The first term has put them all through the ringer, but it's made them look at each other in a new light. I think the real turning point for us was that movement class because people kind of got exposed. I didn't ever feel like saying, stop Tom, stop. He's sort of been cracking open a few eggs and, you know, people have really started to make connections. They've kind of changed, they've kind of opened up a little bit more because they've had these feelings and things brought out of them. You really think that you know someone, but daily they surprise you. Wow. There's so much more to, to, to you, to the, each person, than I, I thought there was. Every day I look at people and go, hold on a minute, <laughs> what are you doing? Who are you? And as the students clean up the school, they know they'll have to work even harder next term to make their dreams a reality. It's a glamorous life being a drama student. Everyone should roll. You learn to apply yourself in many different ways. If you don't make it as an actor, you can always be a cleaner. Cracker. Next time, the students come face to face with a movie star. I'm so excited, he's just um, amazing. He's just somebody who's just done it. Person, I look at you now. But their first assessments come as a bit of a shock. So don't tell me you came back here knowing what you want and then sleep in. I'm kind of falling apart over that at the moment. And for some, their future at the school is far from certain. I have no idea what to think. 